All right, welcome to this week's episode of Trojan Poetry, week five, and happy Halloween. We've chosen a really great one for you this week. Uh, Mike has not read it. Here we go. This is by Ray Armentrout from her collection itself. It is called The New Zombie. One, I stare at a faint spinning disc in the black endlessly ready to pounce. Two, I actually say I'm so sick of zombies. Three, viral relics in the genome, genes that switch themselves off and on, unthinking but coordinated. Four, zombie surfeit, half off zombie, the best zombie imita imitation, invisible zombie hand. <laughs> Is that right. the end? That's the end. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, the reason I chose this, I'll be honest, I saw the title and I was like, wow, okay. Halloween. Ray Armentrout, Pulitzer Prize winning poet, mm -hmm. is writing a poem about a zombie. I've got to see what this is. And it's Halloween poem, right? Right. So I read it and I was instantly confused. I was like, okay, this is great. Yeah. Even though I'm confused, it's pretty great. I need to try to figure this out. What really got me though, hooked me, was the line, I'm so sick of zombies. Okay. Because in our culture, I don't know if you noticed, but like with The Walking Dead and all the zombie movies and zombie shows, uh, I'm kind of getting sick of it too. Even mm -hmm. though I was a Walking Dead fan, I was like, okay, you know, this is really interesting, a poet talking about that. And then the third section about the genome, I was like, okay, wait, so we go from uh, I'm sick of zombies to talking about genetics, and then we have the weird, like, the weird fourth stanza about the surfeit and the imitation zombie and the invisible hand. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love puzzle poems where you've hmm. really kind of got to dig in. And as I did some research on Ray Armentrout, I found out that she was what is called a language poet, which is from mm -hmm. the 1960s and 70s, a movement. And the idea was that uh, the reader is supposed to bring a bunch of meaning to the poem, right? They really mm -hmm. wanted the reader to... Uh, my understanding, my little understanding of the movement yeah. is to create the meaning. I was like, oh, okay, so I, I'm, I'm okay to kind of make up a meaning, right, of my own. And at first I thought it was the, the poet speaking, right, and it was like my I, voice, yeah. right? I'm half sick of zombies, and she, she is sitting on the hill, and she thinks right. that. But right. then, uh, after reading it, you know, two dozen times, I was like, wait a minute, maybe it's the zombie talking. And of course that makes more sense maybe that the zombie in the first stanza is ready to pounce, right? It's just endlessly hungry. Mm -hmm. And then the zombie, it's kind of funny if you think of it that way, says I'm kind of sick of zombies mm -hmm. and he or she itself is a zombie. Right. Uh, but then the zombie goes into like a genetic study of what does it mean to be a zombie? I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, but then what got me at the end, one thing I, I looped back then into the, from the fourth to the third stanza was half off zombie. And then sh uh, she mentions in stanza three, genes are half are switched off mm -hmm. and come and go. So that repetition of off, I thought uh, when you're a half off zombie or when you're just a normal human, you are a half off zombie because it's just that your genes haven't kicked in. Mm. So being a human is being a half off zombie okay. or is being a zombie being a half off human, right? So she kind of makes us think, uh, what does it mean to be human? What does it mean to be a zombie? Uh, so much to talk about. The unusual use of periods. I don't yeah. really understand. The way the lines break. and Right. And then it just ends with the word hand and there, there's just a, a gap. Yes. Right? Yeah. What did you think? Well, a couple things as you were talking there that I hadn't even thought. The first time I read through it, I just thought, zombies. You know, she's talking about zombies, and yeah. she doesn't like them, and she's tired of it. And then when you said the zombie movement and how popular they are recently, I'm so sick of zombies. Um, but then at the end, when you said it reminded me of, uh, what is it, Night of the Living Dead. Mm -hmm. Is that the movie where they're in the mall? Day of the all, Dead. Day Dawn, of the Dead. Yeah, Day of the Dawn Day. of the Dead, Day of the Dead. Yeah, one we're of the two. We're all walking around the mall, and the whole movie is a metaphor for, like, American, mm -hmm. you know, um, materialism. Yeah. Yeah, consumerism. And so then when it got to the last stanza, half-off zombie, zombie imitation, because we right. are the zombies shuffling around. Right. Invisible zombie hand, maybe going back to the third stanza of the genes, you know, reaching out for us and we don't know yet. Mm -hmm. um, the, I, I really think that's cool. The one thing that still I, I have no idea is that first stanza, I stare at a faint spinning disc in the black, endlessly ready to pounce. And I, my, my first thought was, uh, UFO or something, you know, like there's something that is 
dropping these zombies off, or is it or this faint spinning disc? I don't know. Some is it she's watching a DVD and it's spinning, and she's watching oh. a zombie movie or show, but she's so sick of this zombie stuff that's popular and she's just thinking these thoughts while she's watching it um see and i thought it was I, the moon but now that you say dvd uh, it would be like watching okay. it would be like watching a dvd of a zombie show right half off right? zombie maybe she got some cheap zombie yeah. movie out of the bin best zombie imitation I, so i don't know there's a lot of food for thought i mean this is a yeah. super short poem really cool really cool you could go so many different ways with this. Yeah, so I think what we both like about it is that it is something where you can just springboard off into all of these crazy thoughts, and it just makes you think. Yeah. Right? And that's one of the great things about some yeah. poems. They just are endlessly uh, thinkable. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so our question for this week is, what percent zombie are you? Hmm. Hmm. Are decimals allowed? Sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please join the conversation in the comments on YouTube or on Twitter at Trojan Poetry DGN. Also, check out our website at trojanpoetrydgn.blogspot.com. <laughs>